friends. Welcome to Lug Life Podcast. My name is Adam. My name is Sherry. Sherry Beth, what episode is this? Number 67. So we've been away for a few weeks. Um, yep. We missed... Away for a few weeks is a nice way to say we missed some <laughs> Whoops. episodes. Whoops. Uh, but we're back. Yep. And while we were away, I actually learned something. I think it was... Gosh, I don't remember where I learned this. You was talking about how the average like podcast that people start, they only do like four episodes. And then like <laughs> ditch it. 67, baby. 60 freaking seven i mean we missed a few weeks and so sorry but we're back but we're back um and hopefully listen life gets busy life does get busy and one of the things gotta go one of the things that life got busy on is actually uh kind of what inspired this podcast yes correct it was a couple weeks ago that i went and spoke at a camp like a summer camp i was asked Mm -hmm. to be a summer camp speaker a youth camp oh man live live for the youths (laughs) what movie do you guys know the two the two youths that's for sure from a movie the two youths. Sure, that's from my cousin Vinny. Okay. <laughs> With American Okay, well it's a icon, new girl too. <laughs> Marissa Tomei. Okay. okay. Joe Pesci. Focus. Sorry. That, summer camp. I, I love that movie. Yeah. That movie my cousin Vinny. Um, so I was asked to be a summer camp speaker and I <laughs> I've had nothing to do with summer camp, obviously, in I'm an adult in years. <laughs> But the whole process of, like, getting ready for summer camp, going to the camp, um, just, like, watching all of the youth made me think about my past summer camp experiences. Yeah. And I know just from past conversations that Sherry and I have had, she has past summer camp experiences as well. And so I thought, well, we're right in the middle of summer still. Let's talk summer camp. Yep. So that's exactly what we're doing. Yeah. We're just going to talk about some of our experiences. So, Sherry, tell me, like... Little Sherry, Mm -hmm. what was summer camp like? Did you go a lot? Did you go once or twice? I went every year. Okay. um, Starting, I think, third grade. So, like, the summer, I think before or after third grade, I don't remember. um, I went to, like, a church camp for a week. Okay. um, Every year. So, starting seventh grade, we would go to, um, so we went to Camp Mac, is what it was called. And then starting seventh grade through high school, we went to CDYC, um, which was Central District Youth Convention. Okay. Was and that like then, a camp or was that just like a youth conference? It was a youth conference, but it was like the same time as like the summer camp. Okay. Um, and then um, I went to, I was like a, I was a staff assistant at Camp Mac yep. in high school. And then I was a counselor in college. All right. At Camp Mac so as let's, well. Let's talk Camp Mac life. Mm-hmm. Um, typical youth camp, like... On a lake, there's canoes, cabins, that sort of stuff? Cabins, yeah. So, yep, cabins and then, like, the communal, like, (laughs) bathhouse. Yeah. Yep. We're going to talk about the communal (laughs) bathhouse. Yep. Um, Yeah, so one thing I feel like um, most people who know me know about me, but if you don't really know me, um, I love not camping. (laughs) That is true. You love not camping. Uh, big fan. So um, when it comes to actually camping, just not really a fan. I don't I don't like to walk out in the freezing, wet mornings to have to go potty. Mm-hmm. I don't want to have to do that. It's gross um, and it's cold. And then like the communal bathroom shower situation. I just, I don't like it. There's very little that I actually <laughs> like about camping. Okay. Um, I enjoyed camp. What did you enjoy about camp? Tell me what, tell me what, Sherry, if you hate the whole camping experience, Mm -hmm. what is it you enjoyed about camp? Um, I always liked the speakers, Uh um, which I think speaks to like my nerd side. I always, I I, I always liked learning. You went to camp to learn. I did. (laughs) And then I, and I always enjoyed, like, there was always like a craft, like, yeah, totally thing that you could do. Um, especially like there was like. I forget they were what they were called, but you could like sign up for like your craft time and whatever when everybody else was doing sports and I don't do sports. And so What? Yep, nope. So I always did the crafty stuff and then even in the free time, like I enjoyed doing I would like go back to the craft room or I would read. Um I was always like that like wallflower kid. Okay. <laughs> did you at your camp, was it like were you broken into teams? Did you have team points like was there like a competition among cabins? I feel like there was. I don't. I don't remember um, a lot about that. And full disclosure, there's a lot I don't remember. 
yeah. about camp. And I think a lot of it has to do with my sickness last year. I feel like I lost a lot of my memories. Sure. So you don't remember your, like, your team song? Like, we are Wolfpack, hear us howl. We for sure oh. did not have team songs. What? Um, I feel like we had, Ow. like, okay, I feel like we had, like, a, a camp song every year, like, that had to do with the theme of that week. Quick, quick interruption. I don't know if you'll remember this, because I'm not sure if you were allowed to watch Nickelodeon. Do you remember Camp Anawana? The Camp name, Anawana, but I don't think that I was, you in I our watched hearts. it. When we think about you, it makes us want to okay you don't remember camp that on- was for sure not allowed to watch that um <laughs> because it said the word farts probably wow um so I, yeah i so i feel like every year there was always like a camp song that had to do with like whatever the theme was and so sure. we had to like learn the song and it was like a big deal um and then you know it was a different theme every year yeah. and so it was like i don't remember what all the themes were but it was it was fun i always enjoyed like that part of it although you were at church camp so mm-hmm. my guess is like every church camp for you ended with like Michael W. Smith's Friends Are Friends Forever. Everyone is crying and hugging. Absolutely. That's how and, every camp yep, ended. Yep. And like, <laughs> yeah, like the last night, like around the bonfire, it was always like that song and like. Wow. Yep. Um. Yeah. And it always ended with like the altar calls. Of course. So that's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of what you liked about. Church camp. Church camp. What did you, were there things that you didn't like or things that were just like, oh, that's not for me? Um. I mean, I just, I, I, I'm not a fan. Like, I don't sleep well. I've never slept well. Yeah. And so, like, a cabin that has, like, no soundproofing um, with, like, literally no windows. Like, we had, like, the the wooden flaps that you oh, could yeah. open for, uh-huh. like, air, but then it let bugs in. Um, and so, like, there was no windows. And so, like, I'm... I, I'm always cold and that I don't sleep with sound and I don't sleep with other people. And like, yeah, I just, it was, I always had a hard time sleeping. And then like the walking to and from the bathroom and like, it was cold and okay. it was wet because of like the dew. And it was just like, this is stupid. <laughs> um, so there's a few things I want to get into yep. in a little bit. Uh, let me give you a little bit of my camp backstory. Mm-hmm. Um, so I did not grow up going to church camp. What? I went to <laughs> YMCA camp. Uh, here in Alaska, and it was, it was so cool. Like, I, I, but you love camping. You I love being outside. I love camping. I love being outside. I loved that. Like, you could earn little badges for your <laughs> camp vest based on activities. I still remember how proud I was because I was one of the first, like, in our little camp to earn my archery badge, mm-hmm. and I had never done archery before. And I just remember thinking, like, you're a natural. I'm a natural archer. <laughs> Like, I was, I remember, like... I'm, like, so good. Like, little Adam just being so amazed that I was an archer. Um, and so, and it was really cool. I'll tell I'll tell a really fun story a little bit later. But my mom was actually the camp cook mm-hmm. when I went there. And I, I just remember loving that. Um, now, this camp that I just spoke at, it was so funny because there were so many things that, that happened that, like, totally brought me right back to, like, <laughs> camp as a kid. Yeah. One of them, the rubber mattresses. Oh, my Lord. Yes. Like, okay, it's gross because it, as soon as you think about it, it's like, oh, these are rubber, so the pee rolls off. Correct. <laughs> it can be easily cleaned. That's so, <laughs> that is so disgusting. It's so gross. Like a room full of pee mattresses. Yeah. That is yep. so nasty. Um, But one thing that I really loved about just kind of being out there is that, and and this I think is one of the things that is so great about camping is that there really is something about being just away from home, like outside of your normal, outside of your ordinary, in a different setting with kids or people that you know or don't know. Like it's just, it's almost like a vacation for kids. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, so I, I really loved it as a kid. Uh, I love my camp experiences. I look back on it and have nothing but great memories. <laughs> I did go to like church camp, but that was like as a teenager. Mm-hmm. Um, but as a kid, it was all like YMCA kind of camp. Yeah. Um, Sherry, one thing I think that's interesting for you is that you said you talked about going back as a counselor. Yep. Um, I know now, I signed up to go back then. <laughs> well, and that's what's so interesting to me is right. that you are kind of naturally a more introverted person. Mm -hmm. When I think of camp counselors, I think of like the goofy people that are like, I'm going to eat a goldfish. Yeah, no, that wasn't me. (laughs) But like, why, why Beck go back as a counselor? Um, uh, I, 
So I was always a counselor for the 11 and 12 year old girls. Okay. And I just feel like that's a really like pivotal time in a girl's life. Yeah. And um, I, I don't know. I just, I, for whatever reason, I just really felt like going back and like being their counselor and like being their person for the mm. week. And we had some really great discussions. Yeah. So I, I really enjoyed being the counselor, but again, I just, I didn't enjoy like the actual camp aspects of it, but I, I enjoyed being a counselor. Did you feel like, because you went to camp when you were like that age, Yep. the age of those girls. Mm-hmm. And was it the kind of thing that you remember the impact that counselors had on you? And so you wanted to have that on, on them. Was it that kind of thing? Yes, I think so. I mean, I, 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 I always held my camp counselors in like a high esteem and I, I just always felt like. You know, because they, they weren't my parents' age. Like, they were usually yeah. late teens, early 20s. Like, they were still, like, young and cool, but, like, older, like, you know, old enough to be cool. But, like, I don't know. It was just, I just always looked up to my camp counselors, and I really enjoyed um, just, like, chatting with them mm-hmm. and, like, hanging out with them. And so I wanted to be that person for some of these other girls. I love that. That's I totally 100% get that. Mm-hmm. Um, let's talk about a couple things that, to me, are pretty essential to camp life. Mm-hmm. Let's talk food and pranks. <laughs> okay? Um, let's start with pranks because one thing that I thought was interesting to you, and maybe this is the difference between, like, Boys church camp. Well, not to say church camp and, like, YMCA camp. Mm-hmm. Because you had talked about how pranks really weren't... I don't think that we d- really did pranks. I, I feel like... The pranks that I remember hearing about were in the boys' cabins. Which makes sense. Right. But I don't really feel like the girls did a lot. I remember 100% of pranks. And the pranks that I remember weren't necessarily, actually, now that I think about it, um, weren't even when I was younger going to YMCA camp. It actually was when I was a teenager doing church camp. (laughs) And I remember the saran wrapping of all of the toilet seats in the girls' bathroom. I remember the Vaseline on all of the toilet seats in the boys' Like in the boys, just like a thin layer of Vaseline so you don't see it. So they like sit down and slip off. Oh, <laughs> the greatest. I also remember. So um, mean. It, that's not mean. It's mean. I, and again, when you're already like having to like traipse outside through yeah. the freaking wilderness just to go potty. Well, and that's, that brings me to my next prank that I really did like and got really good reaction from is that <laughs> it's saran wrap face level but like just one single layer um (laughs) because when they're going to the bathroom in the middle of the night right you're already groggy you're you had to walk to the shower house right and like you're not really looking up and i just like hear that face against saran wrap noise (laughs) and then whatever like scream or word comes after it is just the best (laughs) like it's just my favorite like i love a good camp prank you're so mean i I did i did not like pranks well, that doesn't surprise me even a little bit. But what does surprise me is that you love to prank me. And so you would not <laughs> like to be a recipient of pranks. But I have a feeling that if somebody came up to you and was like, hey, Sherry, let's come up with a bunch of pranks, you'd be like, I'm in. <laughs> like, you don't want to be pranked, but you want to prank. Well, yeah, you're not wrong. I know I'm you're not, not wrong. wrong. <laughs> no, I'm exactly right. I'm exactly right. All right. Let's okay, talk. Okay, camp food. Camp food. Um, I have to say, you sent me a picture. <laughs> And I laughed out loud. I'm alone at home and he sends me this picture of like his first night and it's like lasagna and green beans. And I was like, oh my gosh. (laughs) Like, first of all, two things that do not go together. Please stop doing that. Except it can't. Second of all, it, it like, it was so like camp food. Oh, 100%. It just made me laugh so much. (laughs) It was, I feel like camp food was always... Things to prepare for a hundred people for yeah. eighteen dollars. Right. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like we got eighteen bucks. What is the cheapest we can do this? <laughs> That's exactly right. And so and feed wh- all of these people. So while I was at camp a couple of weeks ago, we had things like burgers, mm-hmm. camp staple. Yeah. Right. We had yeah. lasagna at dinner. And they're always like overdone burgers. Like they're never actually good. So they're this is like, this is what was funny is that you're, the, you're not getting good like medium rare. The bur- <laughs> Yeah, there's no how would you like your burger prepared. Right. It's like you get what Here's you get. Here's a lump of burned beef. You get Enjoy. what you get and you don't throw a fit. <laughs> um, and then for breakfast, we had uh, like pancakes. We had French toast. We had mm. like scrambled eggs. And there's always like the cereal yep. kind of options. Yeah. Um, but it's always that kind of stuff. But here's the thing. And I don't know if it is 
kind of the same idea that food always tastes better when you're on vacation as an adult. <laughs> but like that burger that is staying warm in a pot of water <laughs> is like so good. Like why is it? It has no, like it should not be that good. No. But that's always camp food. Yeah. And it, I mean, yeah. And so it's true. Like the lasagna, like looking at it, it's always like whole. <laughs> But then it's like the best thing you've ever had in your life. And it's usually, I think, probably because they starve you. Well, so this was the funny thing. Listening to the youth that were at the camp, it was hilarious listening to them talk about camp food. <laughs> because it was like, oh, this is, this is so good. Like, this this is the best burger I've ever had in my life. I'm like, bro, no, it is not. <laughs> but it's like. <laughs> Let me take you to Club Paris, baby. <laughs> again, it's, he's, the kid's got vacation goggles right, on. Yep. Right? And it's that kind of thing. It's like, oh, I've never had lasagna and green beans like this before. It's like, yeah, because they don't go together. <laughs> you shouldn't ever have lasagna and green beans. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right but it's like that's always camp food yep and it makes me so happy yeah just absolutely so happy yep it made me laugh so much um speaking of laughing sherry other funny do you have any funny camp memories or interesting camp stories um you gotta tell the nurse one i gotta tell the nurse oh, I one i love the story um okay so the last year actually that i was a counselor um, so they always had in like a like brought in an on site nurse like mm-hmm. somebody who was like there on site the whole week when pranks go wrong <laughs> when people fall on the leg and break a bone or whatever true so um, the nurse that they brought in the last year I was there and I think this was between my freshman and sophomore year of college mm-hmm. um, it was a male nurse and he looked exactly like Keanu Reeves. And this was yeah, early 2000s. Oh, guys, you take Keanu Reeves today? So this or? is 2001, 2002, somewhere in there. And um, he looked just like Keanu Reeves. And, like, all of the girls were losing their minds and finding every little excuse to go to the nurse. My, t- my tummy is upset. I need to go to the nurse. <laughs> oh, I just, I just got a splinter in my finger. I'm going to really, I need to go to the nurse. Oh, I just, and like every little thing. And I was just like, you're fine. Like I have tweezers. It's fine. Yeah. And, and they were just like, no, but like, I really, I really think I need to go to the nurse. And I was like, you really don't. Like, we're not going to bother this poor guy (laughs) because you just want to ogle him. Yeah. (laughs) If the nurse looked like Bill Murray, nobody would want to go. Like nobody wants to go to Bill Murray. Oh my gosh. I mean, he was super nice, but like it was, you could tell that he was probably kind of used to that and just like, this is just sort of my life. Like I just, (laughs) I just want to help people feel better, but like, I can't help how I look. Camp girls are intentionally injuring themselves just to go to Keanu Reeves. <laughs> right, intentionally climbing a tree and jumping. So that oh, my God. It's like, whoops, <laughs> broke my second leg this camp. And again, it was so funny. And, yeah. Um, so that was a really funny story. But I also, um, so it was in the middle of the summer and in Indiana mm-hmm. when there are tornadoes. Oh, yeah. And so almost always we would have some kind of like thunderstorm or like, you know, something. And we had like a tornado shelter kind of area. Dang. Um, That's uh, different than camps in Alaska. (laughs) Correct. And there was one year, um, I think the first year I was a counselor, that um, there was a tornado that actually touched down right across the lake. What? Right across the lake from us. And so... Like, they had been watching it, and um, so the way that tornadoes work, because you're not here, or you're not in tornadoes, there is no. the, there's usually a thunderstorm watch, which means the conditions are correct for a thunderstorm to appear, mm-hmm. so it could, and then a thunderstorm warning, which means there is an active thunderstorm. And then the same thing with tornadoes, tornado watch and tornado warning. So there's a warning when it's touched down. Okay. And so that we had been under a tornado watch for a couple of hours, and there is a pretty nasty thunderstorm going on. And so they had already pulled all of the kids out of the cabin. And we were in, like, the basement of our, um, like, chapel kind of area. And it didn't have any windows and that kind of stuff. So we were... And there was a few hundred kids. Um, and, you know, obviously some are just, like, freaking out. Oh, totally. And there was one girl who was actually um, a friend of mine's sister. And I think he was actually a, a camp counselor at the same time, too. But she, for whatever, and she wasn't even in my cabin, but she knew me because Nate and I were friends. And she, like, was just panicking. Mm-hmm. And so I actually pulled her out. And we were kind of, like, in, like, the hallway kind of area. Um, still in, like, the shelter area, but, like, 
away from the other kids yeah. because she was kind of like making other kids freak out because totally. she was like crying hysterically. And so I just remember like that was just a really I mean, she was uh, terrified, hmm. but I remember it being kind of a really sweet time for me and Rachel to like connect because it was like she just needed somebody to like talk to. And so I was able to just like tell me about your favorite class like in school tell me about your favorite like and so i was just like kind of able to distract her for a little bit yeah and the tornado never actually hit our camp okay but it did it did touch down right across the lake from us so it was pretty scary but it, so it's interesting that you shared that story because I, I haven't heard this story before that's the first time i've heard that story yeah. um but it's interesting because my story actually also has to do with across the lake okay so at ymca camp um one of the things that we one of the, one of the badges on our vests we got to get was our canoeing badge. Do you still have this vest? Um, I don't know if I still have the vest. I do still have some of the badges. They're Nita, in. Nita, do you still have the vest? No, I um, need to know. <laughs> the, some of the my camp badges are in the metal box my mom gave. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, and so uh, so I was going to earn my canoeing badge, and there was like two of you in a canoe, and you had to you know like paddle around the lake and do this kind of stuff just to show you know, skills. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. And we were mad skills in a canoe, mad, our mad canoeing skills. (laughs) Um, Spoiler alert. I'm better archery. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, (laughs) um, But we were paddling over kind of on the other side of the lake from where the, the camp was. And we saw on the edge of a lake of the lake, a bear, Oh. like right there. And this isn't like a huge, huge lake. And so it's not like, Eh, it's fine. It's a long ways away. And so we went back and like told our counselors about this bear that we had seen. And it ended up being, and uh, my mom is listening to this podcast. And so I, I really want to ask my mom to make sure, because I may totally mess the story up. <laughs> Remember, I was a youth. Um, and so mom, correct me in the comments. Um, but this bear kind of ended up tormenting camp a little bit. Oh. To the point where they actually took all of us. So I ended up getting, I got my canoe badge. And I remember they gave me, like, another badge for being one of the two who spotted the bear. Like, we got, like, a special, I don't know, like, a wilderness explorer badge (laughs) or something like that. And uh, so they actually, in order... You saved the camp. I saved the camp. Basically, that's where Mm -hmm. I'm getting. Mm -hmm. Um, They basically had to get the youth out of the camp to deal with this bear. And so they loaded us up on a bus and took us to Talkeetna, which was a, a town kind of in the area, while they essentially we're gonna hunt the bear get the bear and my mom tells the story because again my mom was the the cook at the camp Mm -hmm. that basically the 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 kitchen that she worked in had like a window at one end and a door in the other and they gave my mom a shotgun and was just like all right here you go in case the bear comes in the door (laughs) and she and so it's like and so it's like my mom i just remember like her and i think i'm getting this right that they were going to hunt and remove the bear and it's just like, all right, well, you make 100 tuna sandwiches for these kids when they get back. Here's a shotgun in case the bear comes into your kitchen. Oh, my gosh. Crazy, right? Yep. That was not the issue in in Indiana. You guys we, didn't have bears? We had tornadoes. You had tornadoes. We had bears. Right. Uh, the other thing I don't I, know. Which one is more frightening, really? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. I will say a shotgun not helping you against a tornado. It, the true. Not at it's all. true. Um, I do also remember we'd have, like, scary stories at our camp. And I remember the counselors all like went in on it. And so we'd be in a cabin and uh, or around a fire. And one of the counselors would be telling like this really scary story. Right. We're just all hooked. And the other counselors, you know, had snuck away and they'd be like running through the woods. So we'd hear their feet in the woods or they'd be like banging on like metal and be like, oh, my gosh, it's real. You know, it's like the camp ghost is here to get us. And so I just remember as a kid, I don't know, it's like my camp memories are all good. Yeah. I mean, with the exception of my mom being trapped in the kitchen with a shotgun, with a shotgun. Hunt, hunting a bear. Correct. Other than Correct. that, memories are all good. Um, in fact, going back out to camp a couple of weeks ago to speak, my one of the thoughts, and I had this so many times, is how much I wish you could have gone with me because there were so many little instances that I was just laughing so hard at. Like camp memories, <laughs> just like things I overheard from the campers. Yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, I wish Sherry was here because I feel like you would have related to so much of that. Yeah, probably. So yep. maybe we need to, maybe we need to go to camp together. <laughs> Next camp I speak at, you have All to right. go with me. All right. So friends, those are just some of our camp memories, our summer camp memories. And yeah. we want to hear from you guys. Did you, did you go to summer camp? Yeah. Was it a churchy camp? Was it a YMCA camp? 
what kind of camp was it? What are your favorite memories? Do you have like a great camp story? Yeah. I want to hear a great camp story. Yeah. And the way you uh, let us know that is head over to YouTube, search Leg Life Podcast, find this episode all about camp stories, and then there in the comments, yep. just leave us, uh, leave us a little message. Yes, please. <sighs> it's so good to be, have the podcast back. Yeah. So fun to be back recording. <laughs> Friends, we love you guys so very much, and um, we will see you next week on the Leg Life Podcast. Bye! Bye.